Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center, and today we're going to talk about the Genomi 8002D serger. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to thread it. To start with, when you unthread your machine, always make sure your presser foot is up. And then let's open these doors here, and then cut your thread up at the top like that. At this point, hang on to that thread tail and loosen the thread out of all the tension discs. So I'm holding onto the thread tail so none of the thread gets pulled back the wrong way. And at that point, you can just pull out that thread tail the rest of the way. Okay, so we have a threading chart right here. I'm going to take these white ones off of here because I'm going to use colored thread that corresponds to the colors in the chart. I'm going to put the green one right here and make sure you always have these uh, uh, cones on the back here that hold your, your nice big serger spools. By the way, I will tell you, make sure you're using good quality thread in your serger. Maxilock is a great thread. I've used it for years and it's always given me good results with my serger. Okay, and then red here. Here we have blue here and yellow right there. Okay, to start with, always make sure your thread tree is all the way up. So if it's down like this, make sure it's all the way up. Okay, and then you can just thread it through the top, but I think it's a little more secure if you thread it through the thread tree. This part you can just do standing up. That works just fine. I like to get all four of these things done all at once for the thread tree. Get that part out of the way. And you can turn this if you need to a little bit just to see what you're doing. Just make sure you turn it back so it's not twisted. Because you don't want to leave it this way because that would affect your thread tension. So just twist it back and it tends to lock into place when it's in the correct place. Okay. So now we're going to thread these thread guides. So down through the top, over the top again, and down again, starting from the left hand side to the right hand side. So again, we're going to do all four of these, these things to get them done. It really helps to have the, when you're learning, to have four different colors of thread so that you can see what's, uh, what's what and where the threads go. But that's why I'm using them in this video. Alrighty. It's kind of fun to teach people how to use their machines. So it makes them successful in what they're doing. Okay, so for now, we're going to start out with the red thread. The red pathway here. Now I know it says one, two, three, four, but let's switch those two around. Two is actually going to be the first thread that you're going to do because that's going to be your upper looper. Now, follow all the thread guides. So, so far we've got this, the thread tree and these thread guides here. Now we're going to go with that guide right there. So you pull it in just like that. Then you go under your thread tension. Now, notice I'm holding it up here, giving it a little pull like that. That helps the thread to, to sink right down into the tension discs. Again, always making sure that your presser foot is up so that those tension discs are open. Then I go over the top here, into this one here, down under this one. Now we've got two more thread guides, the little wire there, like that. Get that behind things like that. Okay, you see how it's behind the upper looper in that part right there. And then we need to thread this. Now this is where it's helpful to have Oh, here, I'm going to just do it with my tweezers. It's helpful to have tweezers like this. You can get these tweezers here pretty inexpensively, and they're really nice because it has this little kind of hooked end. You can grab a hold of uh, the threads easily that way. And they're nice and pointy, so you can just poke that right through and pull it out the other side. The needles are a little bit in the way here. There we go. And just make sure it's not caught on anything. Now for now, I'm going to just put that right over the top of the uh, presser foot. I'll show you where to put it 
later once we get it all threaded. Okay, now we're going to do the lower looper. Put that in there, that thread guide, bring it around, give it a little pull upwards like this, and into this hook here, down into this guide here, and pull out a little more thread, and then we go into these. Now it does help to have your thread so it's not fuzzy at the end. So if it's a little fit, bit fuzzy, just trim it with your scissors just to make sure that it's um, easy to thread. Okay, so we have three more thread guides on this one. The lower looper is a little bit tricky, so but I'm going to show you how to do this. So to start with, there is a hook right here. You can't see it from, I can't see it from my angle, but it's under there. It's similar to these hooks here, where you're going to pull the thread up under it. So what I'm going to do is take my tweezers, poke them through from the left, and then pull. See how that making a hook like that kind of helps me pull it through. So now I've got some thread on this side too. Take this, find that little hook. I can see it from this side. And just kind of saw that into there and oops, here we go. There we go. And it's in there. Kind of gave a little click. And you can also tell by just when you drop it, you can tell it's, it's up in that little guide. So now we have these two guides here. At this point, you want to roll your hand wheel so that, I'm going to open this here, so that you can see this little circle here, that's where you're going to put the thread tail. Now for this one, I like these loop needle threaders. They're really, really helpful for uh, doing the needles, but also for doing your that looper there. Okay, we've got one here. Now we're working with the green thread. So I'm going to thread the looper first. It's a little bit easier to do it that way. And make sure you have a good amount of thread through there so that it doesn't come undone. Make sure it's not caught on anything. Then we're going to go through that little Right guide right there. Make sure it's coming through the right way. You don't want to be having it going underneath the scissors or something. So I'm going to pull that right through. Okay, that part is done. And again, I'm checking to make sure it's threads not caught in anything. Now we're going to roll the hand wheel back so that you can see the end of the looper. That's the last guide right there. I'm going to move this back a little bit. Again, using the looper threader. It's a really, really handy tool. Recommend you get one of these. It's a package that comes with, uh, I think you get six of them in there. They're kind of small. I mean, kind of like if you drop this on the floor, it kind of might disappear for you. So they give you six of them in the package. It's a really nice deal that way. Okay, I'll poke that through there. Pull that through back like that. Again, making sure that it's not caught in anything. It should be a straight shot from that hole on the the left hand side on kind of the elbow right here should be a straight shot. So if it's caught around anything, make sure it's not caught there. Okay, now at this point, there's a really important part that I want you to notice. Right now, this lower looper thread is going under the upper looper. You want to pull that back out and make sure it's going over the looper. And that's important because if it goes under, you'll get about two stitches and then the thread will break and you get to re-thread your loopers again. So look carefully here. You can see how it's kind of crossing. There, it's crossing over the upper looper. All right, now it's time to do the needle threads. Okay, so we've got the blue pathway. Again, you go under there, give it a good pull, under this guide right here, over the top of the take-up lever, so it has a take-up lever like regular sewing machine. Let me go through this guide here and then into there. Now, once you have these in here, I'm going to go ahead and do this one here and pull it up like that. Once you have these in here, you might not remember, like if you have all the same color and you got to that point and they're all white, which is which? Well, just simply pull on the thread 
that you're trying to thread next and you'll know which guide to put it in. Okay, so put that in there. Now, the needle bar guide is this one right here. So to thread the needles, lower your presser foot, move your hand wheel so that the needles are out of the way, through, they're up at the highest position. Again, using your looper threader to thread your needles, it's a very handy tool. So it's kind of multi-purpose. You can also use this looper threader to thread your regular sewing machine too if your sewing machine doesn't have an automatic threader on it, needle threader. Works well for uh, size 12 and 14 needles. Smaller needles, maybe not quite as much, but you can also use these needle threaders for hand sewing needles too. It's really nice. But make sure you also have tweezers on hand because that's important too. I'm just threading this using a, a loop of thread rather than trying to poke the raw end through there. And yes, if you're really good at threading needles, you can do this without the loop or threader, but it makes the right tools make all the difference. As having a tool like a serger can really speed up your sewing. Now, at this point, we need to have this thread under the foot, rather than poking it back through there, that's not very much space, there's a, an easy way to do that. So I'm gonna lift this up, put your thread between the cutter and the presser foot. And make sure it's not caught around there. It should be a nice straight shot right back under the foot. Same thing with your needle threads, make sure they're right back under the foot. So you can see all four threads are now under the foot. Okay, at this point you can start surging um, if, when you do, you want to have, um, this is kind of a mess, but that's all right. You can start with your presser foot down and do this way. So, but I like to hang on to these tails when I first start sewing after I've been, after I've threaded it, because they haven't started forming that tail yet. <clears throat> See, now they've got that tail. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> pardon me. I'm going to show you another way to thread your serger so that it's a little bit easier. And at this point, I'm going to just cut these, all four of them. And I cut them right above the spools. <clears throat> and then we want to take the, <clears throat> pardon me, lift up the presser foot, take the needle threads out like that, out of there. So that way we can pull these through. But before we do that, I'm gonna just kind of switch things around here a little bit. Switch things around. Now we take our threads and we tie them off. This is called the tie off method. So you take your threads, take the two ends of the thread, match them up into a single overhand knot, just like that. Pull it tight to test it to make sure that it's not gonna come undone. And see, this is why I have you cut your threads right above the spools because you've got extra thread here that you can work with. Single overhand knot, like that. And test that. Same thing with the green thread to the red thread. Probably could be done better standing up, but that's it. So maybe I should do that. That way I can reach it better. I've done this on my older sergers that didn't have air threading and it was wonderful. That was the main way that I would change my thread. Occasionally though, you do have to re-thread because maybe your lower looper thread breaks and then you basically have to just re-thread everything. Okay, got those three done, or all four of them done. Now, I like to start with my lower loopers. <clears throat> I take my, I'm gonna start with the red thread, it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Pull that through, ease that through like that. There it is, it's changed. And the other one, Pull that through. there we go, here we go. Ease it through like this. That's the lower looper. <clears throat> upper looper, upper needle threads. 
ease it through like this. And the other one. Ease that through like this. Okay. Snip those up. And basically, <clears throat> you just have to thread your needles, ready to go, and you can start surging. <clears throat> That's your basic threading of your serger of your 8002D. Stay tuned for our other videos. Thanks for watching. You can give us a th thumbs up if this was a helpful video. If you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos to watch. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.